Hi friends, welcome to Hot Mess Crafting. My name is Shannon. Today I have a collaboration with three amazing other crafters who will be talking about throughout this video. Today I have five Nightmare Before Christmas DIYs to show you and I hope you guys love them. Now this is kind of like a three in one. I got these potion bottles from Dollar Tree I believe like a year ago. And so this is uh, going to be, let's see, Frog's Breath, Worm's Wart, and Deadly Knot Shade. So I'm just getting that old twine off and the glue off using my heat gun. Y'all, I'm, I'm so nervous. This is my first collaboration. I am grateful for it. Okay, so I'm using my green, and I believe that's Castle. And the green, I believe, is called Irish. And I'm going to paint this one entirely with the green and the uh, castle mixed. Y'all, if I stutter, bear with me. Like I said, I'm nervous. Um, I am so excited to be here. Miss Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World invited me. And I am so grateful to her. I, we have Ellie from DIY from House to Home with Ellie. And then also Crafting with Indie Annie Jones. The playlist will be in my description box, so please check that out after you watch my video. Give them a like and follow. Now, I'm going to take this school glue, and I'm going to douse this bad boy, okay? Because this is how we're going to get our crackle effect. The more school glue you use, the bigger your cracks will be, the more you'll have. I think I did, the only thing I didn't do was the back. To not waste the school glue but I'm just covering that and for me I normally don't wait until the glue dries I just go ahead and paint over it and I'm using I think it's called rich black and just gonna paint over that and y'all will see the magic in just a minute all those cracks will stop start popping out see I'm just stumbling over my words because I'm nervous I gotta settle down I really enjoyed making these. It was a lot of fun. But, you know, I'm sorry if this goes too fast or too slow. And see, here I go with my heat gun. You can see those cracks just popping out. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And what I also do is leave my heat gun in a spot for like a few seconds and you'll see the bubbles start coming out. You see the bubbles? And then I just pop those and it gives you a really cool texture. Like, an awesome effect so that I think they say like dimension is kind of like a dimension look to it so this first one is going to be the uh, frog's breath let me know in comments are you a Nightmare Before Christmas fan too it's my favorite thing to watch during Halloween absolute favorite so now I'm just taking my white chalk marker and I'm doing this by hand I have terrible handwriting so bear with me but I did this by hand I mean with you know Halloween and with Nightmare Before Christmas you know what I mean like nothing's perfect and I figured you know what this would actually work out okay If you guys hear the door opening and closing, I am so sorry. That is my son. I don't have many places to go in the house that's quiet. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have kept this all in there. Me and technology need to get a better relationship. I'm still learning, so bear with me as this journey is... <laughs> it's been an interesting one. Okay, so those wax pieces, I got off Amazon, that whole little kit, um, wax seal kit. So I'm using some of the green ones, and I'm going to melt them, and then just pour it over my bottle. I'll put those in my description box, the wax kit that I got, in case somebody else wants them. But it comes with all kinds of different wax colors. Really nifty. Now, here is the worm's wart, that's the rich black. It's basically going to be the same concept as the first one. And I didn't want y'all to have to watch all that all over again. We're doing like the school glue and 
the bubbles is the same concept as what I did on this one. I think I did all three of them like that. See, I didn't want to make y'all have to watch everything. Now I'm just taking some air dry clay and rolling it up and I'm going to make me a big old worm. <clears throat> y'all, I promise, I know this video is not going to be perfect, but just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the whole video and then go watch my friends as well because they are really talented. Yep, uh, now I'm just making little notches for the worm. And I believe I go over him with a uh, castle. Cuz I I could not I couldn't decide how what color to make my dang worm. So I just stuck with castle. Something neutral. And I just take that and I just twist it around my bottle. He's a very, very long worm. <laughs> That's okay. I'm doing the same thing here like I did with Frog's Breath. Just taking my white char chalk, shoot, Lord, I can't talk, chalk marker and writing worm's wart on there. Now this one I didn't put any wax on, just the worm. If I'm going too fast in this, I am so sorry, but I'll get better, I promise. It's just going to take some time and some practice. And hopefully they come out with these bottles this Halloween, because I love them. I, got, I think I've got a couple more left. I think I was thinking about turning some into like you know like Christmas juice or something. I thought that'd be fun. See, now I'm just gonna stick his little head on there and wrap his little body around it. And there we go. We got our worms work. If y'all hear my cat meowing, I'm so sorry. And this is definitely nightshade. Now I wanted that skull, so I just went around it with my rich black. I didn't want to take that skull out. Because it was perfect for Deadly Nightshade. So I was very careful in using my rich black to go around that and just cover up the words. And it was the same concept as the other two. And this one, I actually use some red wax and pour over the top. See, the same concept. Wrote Deadly Nightshade because I didn't think y'all need to watch that again. <laughs> I got smarter and got my little mat so I didn't burn the house down. And there we go. To kind of resemble blood, we got the red wax. These were a lot of fun to make. I'm sorry that kind of closed out, but this is going to be a Nightmare for Christmas candy jar. This was one of the Christmas ones, and we're just going to transform it. Now, I'm using Mod Podge over the plastic first because that really helps the paint, chalk paint stick good. Because sometimes with plastic and glass, it can tend to just kind of chip off real easily. But this really helps. Let it completely dry, and then you can start painting on it. We are actually going to do the hill scene. And this, the top is going to be like Santa's hat, you know, because it's got the Halloween and the Christmas. So the top is going to be Santa's hat. Now we're taking Ma Maui sand. I hope I'm saying that right. Maui, Maui, <laughs> meow, sand, and we're gonna coat the entire top. Cause I wanted a darker red. The one I've got is kind of bright. I think it's called Imperial. So I did the gray first, and then we're gonna go over that Imperial red. So it'll give it a darker finish. Cause I didn't want it too bright. So we're just going to cover the entire lid. And then we're going to add a little cotton ball on top. And then we have Santa's little hat. Now guys, I, there we go. There's the hat. And now we're going to add the cotton ball and that's it. Now y'all, I am not an artist. So don't pick on me about my drawing skills. But here we go. We're about to make the hill scene. And the moon. From the movie. See, I sketched it out on a piece of paper. Trying to get an idea of what I wanted to do. Just taking a pencil and drawing what I want on there. 
see, making mistakes. Y'all, it took me a while to make this, but this is so sped up. It looks like I'm a superhero drawing, but no, no, no. It took a while. But it was a lot of fun. I'm so proud of how it came out. I hope you guys love it. And I'm so sorry I didn't show the, the jars in the end. I mean, the potion bottles. I completely forgot to film that, but I did do the candy one. See, that was the same color, the Maui sand. So now I'm just taking my Sharpie and outlining the moon and the hill to make it pop out more before I actually start coloring it all in. I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, I need one actually was working good. Sorry, I don't know what's going on in my video right now. Lord help. If anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong with me, I tell you. So just outlining all of it. Sorry, I probably didn't need to show all of this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, now I'm just coloring in my hill. Filling it all in. Y'all, my cat T'Challa is screaming outside the door. He hates when I leave the room. And he is screaming at me right now. So this is my darker yellow. I think it's called a must, like vintage mustard. So I'm doing that first for the moon. And then I'm going to go over it with a brighter yellow. So darker first, darker yellow first, vintage mar mustard, I believe that is. And then maize, yeah, is the brighter one. And I'm going to kind of... Bring in some highlights. See, I think it came out pretty good. This video might not be perfect, <laughs> but I'm trying. Hopefully, y'all will give me another chance as I'm still learning. But there we go. We're just going to highlight and brighten up that moon to make it really pop. And I think it did with the gray and the hill. I really think it pops well. I really do. At least I'm proud of myself, so. <laughs> I know I got some yellow on my heel, but I do fix that in the end. All I had to do is take my little Sharpie and color back in, and there we go. We're gonna Mod Podge it to protect all of that because that was a lot of work that I didn't want ruined. <laughs> and with me being so clumsy, I just knew I'd do something to chip off some paint, so we're gonna fix that. We're going to nip it in the bud. And then all we got to do is add some candy and it's good to go. Oh, yeah, we got to do the lid. Forgot about the lid. Got to make sure Santa's hat's all covered and protected. Just using Mod Podge. You can use whatever sealer you like. This is just what I prefer. If you got suggestions on good sealers, please let me know. Now that is just that, um, what is it, spider webbing stuff from Halloween last year, I believe it's called. And I only had Easter candy, so bear with me here. <laughs> I didn't have any Halloween candy. So I had to use what I had. But it works, you know what I mean? Y'all get the gist, right? It's candy. Candy bowl. There we go. See, I think it came out good. Something unique that I'll be keeping for a while. Thank God I remember to take a video of this one. Sorry about that. Now this is simply meant to be. This is going to be Jack and Sally. And I used um, a printable that I had. I believe I got it off Etsy. If I can find the link, I will put it in the description box below too. So I'm just getting all that stuff off. Because I wasn't planning on using it. I think this was a clearance piece from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. But I think I got it for like a dollar. And that scraper, I love it. It came from Amazon. One side's a razor blade, one side's plastic. The razor is good for glass. And I forgot to use my heat gun. Because normally I go over my stickers with heat gun first and then my scraper. But I completely forgot to do it. So I'm sitting here struggling like, what a ding dong. But eventually, I figure it out. 
Now that Welcome to Our Love Story had a ton of glitter. So I'm just taking a you know, file and getting that all off. Because I didn't want that, you know, it's kind of like 3D. So I didn't want that popping through. I really wanted to be a smooth piece to work on. If y'all see my left arm, yes, that's Nightmare for Christmas Tattoo. It's my ultimate favorite movie. Okay, so here's that meowy, meow, <laughs> I can't say that word, meowy sand, I think it is. We're going to go over the entire piece. Going to get in all them little groovies. Making sure we get good coverage. I think it only took me like one coat though. I can't remember. It was either one or two coats, but it wasn't bad. I think I got this piece. I think it was Hobby Lobby. I think it was like a dollar, maybe like a dollar twenty-five. There we go. Now we're gonna take what's called lilac, and I'm using a sponge because I want it just to lay on top of that top of the piece. That right there. I just wanted to lay on top. I didn't want to get in the grooves because I still wanted to keep that dimensional look to it. If that makes sense. I don't even know how that's how you say it. But just sitting it on top and going around the border with that lilac. Very pretty color. Very pretty purple. It's very subtle, I guess you could say. Just going around the entire thing, but not on the front or back. Just the sides and the, that one piece. Now here's the printable I was talking about. Now right here I'm just kind of judging how where I wanted them to sit. And I'm making a crease so I know where to cut my paper. Look how cute they are. And I know that has lines. My printer was being a pain in the toot. So sorry about that. But in the end, you really can't tell that those lines were there. I was ple pleasantly surprised and happy. So that's that disappearing purple glue stick from Elmer's. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. I use that first and then I go over with my Mod Podge. I'm just going to get them all set up. Look how cute. And now you know where Jack's little, there you go. See I'm kind of like bending that in so it looks like it was meant to be there. It's kind of folding in with the grooves if that makes sense. Just making sure that's secure. Going to get all that excess paper off. Plus, that kind of helps seal your picture into the piece you're working on, if that makes sense. I think this is where I get the Mod Podge out. Yep. And we're going to make sure they're protected before we move on. Because I really didn't want anything to happen to that one. Because that was the last one I had. So I didn't want to lose it. I loved it too much. Yep, just making sure everything's getting sealed, nothing's getting chipped off, and all that good stuffs. Yeah, don't forget, y'all, go check out them other ladies' videos. They're going to have some amazing stuff for y'all. Okay, so I'm taking that lilac, and I'm going to be going over the letters for simply meant to be in that. Every single letter I use that on. Simply meant to be, just like in the movie. I want to take this time to say thank you again to Miss Jackie for inviting me. I know this video is not going to be perfect. It's my first collaboration. But I promise I'll do better. I will get there. Here, you know, trying to make sure my letters are going to be straight. I think I got that measuring thing from Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm just getting the first one set up simply and then... After that, I'll be good to go. Because I swear, if I can make something crooked, I sure will. I'm not the best at that. <clears throat> Just going to get that all on there. I'm pretty sure I don't show the whole thing because y'all don't need to see all of that. But I get that on there, simply meant to be, and then I go over that again with some Mod Podge because... I wanted to truly make sure this piece was very well taken care of. And then I'm just going to draw a simple heart by hand. Like I said, I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. 
<laughs> but I try. Just a simple heart. Because I really didn't want to go overboard with it. You know what I mean? Now I'm just going to make sure that's protected. And then we're about to use some of that um, metal ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm sure some of y'all have seen it. I do love it. But it can be a challenge to glue down. So on here, I paint it with a lilac. But then I decide to staple it on. Because I thought that would be really good. A lot easier way to work with it. So if y'all have suggestions on the best way to do this metal ribbon, please let me know. Because one project I was working on, I was about ready to toss it out my window. So see, now it's all painted in lilac, and now we're just going to Mod Podge to protect it while we're working with it. Because being it's metal, I knew that it could chip very easily. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my computer. There we go. And now, y'all, that's my gra my grandpa. He passed away. Um, that was his stapler that he had used to work with for many, many years. And I was very honored and proud to be working with it. I know that might sound silly, but to me, it, it meant a lot. So, I got to use my grandpa's stapler. My mama gave it to me. Now, this, it was kind of like poking up some. So, I was just trying to make sure that was squished down good. And now, I'm just taking some flat back beads. Because those reminded me of flowers. I really wanted to make that ribbon pop more. So, I'm just taking those little flat back beads. And, um... I'm putting them on each little, well, I call them little flowers. So, yeah. I really hope this video comes out well. I am so nervous, y'all. Sorry, y'all didn't need to see me putting on every single one. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to do the ribbon. So, I had a really pretty purple that was almost perfect. And then some black. And I'm putting those together. And then once again, I think I use a little bit of hot glue first. And then I get my grandpa's stapler out. And then staple it on to extra security when it's hanging. So it didn't fall. And here I'm like twisting and twisting. Trying to figure out how I want this to really hang and sit. And then I finally gave up because it was just like... <laughs> It was not working the way I wanted. So I was like, never mind. I undid it. Made it looser. A looser twist. And then it worked out better. I hope I'm explaining everything okay. And I hope I'm not driving y'all bonkers. Yep, just cutting off the excess. I'm going to use my grandpa's stapler. Boom, boom. More security. And she's done. I really think it came out so good. I feel like Jack and Sally look like they were meant to be there. Like you can't tell it was, you know what I mean, paper? At least I don't think so. Okay, so this is one of those plastic picture holders from Dollar Tree, I think. And we're going to make the hill scene but with the moon it's going to be jack's face so i'm using gesso to prime it sometimes i'll do that like instead of wasting my regular white paint i'll use the gesso to just get things primed and ready so that's what i decided on this piece Probably should have used Mod Podge, but so far it's it's holding up. There's that meowy sand. <laughs> so everything's kind of like going with each other. But yeah, we're going to paint that entire thing with that meowy. Lord help me, Jesus. Me Maui, what? Y'all didn't get it. Maui sand. It's gray, okay? It's gray. <laughs> I'm just going to say gray. It's gray. 
I don't understand all the different names for all these paints when it's just gray, purple, green, whatever, but that's just me. Just going to coat that entire thing, and I showed way too much of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all know how to paint. There we go. Now I'm taking my little lid and I'm going to trace out the moon shape. And I'm starting off with my pumpkin orange. Because I wanted this moon to have a little bit of a different look. Now once again, y'all, I am not a professional artist. I'm doing all this by hand. But what I did was I sketched out on a piece of paper the, the look I was going for, my vision. But... Like I said, I do the best I can. But in the end, I really do think it out, comes out pretty good. Pretty proud of it. Y'all have to let me know in comments which one was your favorite of all five. I had more DIYs for y'all, but y'all, my video would have been like three hours long. And ain't nobody got time for a three hour long video. So, I cut it down to five. I picked my top five favorites, and I hope I was correct in picking the ones. <laughs> yep, just showing more things than y'all need to see, but as you can see, just coloring in that circle with the pumpkin orange. Now we're going in with that vintage mustard again. Yellow, y'all. Darker yellow. <laughs> Now, when I do the brighter yellow, I do go over this whole thing with that. But when I do the brighter yellow, I only do it in, like, different little sections. I was trying to give the look of, like, little, I don't know if you call it, like, craters or, I don't know. Nice dimension to it. Some layering, I guess you could say. And then I'm also going to take some black with my finger. Because, you know, I'm the type of crafter that I love using my hands. I love getting them dirty. There's the maze. Now here's where we're going to dab, 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 dabs all over in little sections. But I didn't want the entire thing. So, like I said, I love getting my hands dirty. I love being full force into my craft. So, after this, I'm going to take some black and do some shading around the moon. To where it looks more 3D. It's popping out of the picture. Jack's head is like boom right in your face. There we go. Dabby, 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 dabs. A million trillion times. There we go. So I'm using the black and the gray. I start off with the brush. And then I use my finger to actually do the shading. I felt like that worked better. And it doesn't bother me to get my hands dirty. I think that's the funnest part about crafting is getting messy and just having a blast. Enjoying the moment. I don't know about y'all, but for me, crafting is, it's therapy, you know? When I'm having a tough day, I head to do some crafts, and then I just feel better. So there we go. We're doing the shading. And then after the black, we're going to do the gray. The same way, we're going to shade in that to kind of where it, like, will melt more into the background. See, there we go. We're adding the gray, and we want that black to kind of melt. We don't want it just harsh lines. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. It's really super easy to do this. It really is. I mean, if you didn't want to do this, you could just, I'm sure, find an image on, like, Etsy or something. And But my printer is out of commission, and also my Cricut. I'm still intimidated by it. <laughs> I've had my Cricut for a couple of years, and I'm still intimidated. I think I have the Crick and Rake 3 and then the um, Joy. I do love my Joy. I'm not as intimidated by that. See, I'm just really kind of just blending and blending and blending. And y'all didn't need to see all this. But 
I didn't also want y'all to miss any steps. And then somebody's confused, you know what I mean, about how the look came to be. So, I'm sorry if y'all are annoyed by my dabbing sound. <laughs> I'm almost done, I swear. <laughs> I plan on watching some videos. Um, I thought about trying out Skillshare or something to really learn how to be more technology savvy. I don't know how to say it. So I can improve more. That way I didn't have to really rely on my husband all the time. See, there's, and my phone, my, that was my husband's phone, because obviously I was using mine to record, and it was driving me bonkers. It kept timing out on me. I'll be tapping his phone like a million trillion times. See, boop, there he goes again, boop, boop, boop. So now I'm just drawing in Jack's face the best I can while trying to keep his phone from timing out. It was driving me bonkers, but I finally got it done. Good to go. <laughs> so we're working on his eyes. Like, you see? See, look. Look how many boo-boos I made. And that's okay. It was still fun. In the end, I think it'll, it'll be okay. Hopefully you guys think so, too. So tell me, if you do love Nightmare for Christmas, who is your favorite character? Now I'm taking a black paint marker, which was a pain in my toot because it's getting low. But finally got it done. And then, I don't know if y'all have had this issue, but you like shake it up and then you, you do your little pumps like you're supposed to. And then, boom, you just want to throw out like a massive amount at once. Yep. Yep, that happened on the stitches on the mouth. I may have said a few choice words. But it's okay. I got her done. It's all that matters. I am sorry. I'm showing a lot of this. Probably didn't want to see all this. Maybe you did. I don't know. In my heart, I know I can't please everybody, so I'm just going to do the best I can and keep pushing on. That's all we can do in this life, right? See, there it went. Look at all that. It went. Bloop. Yep, just shot out. And there's another one. You see how his little stitch right there looks extra thick? <laughs> I about used that dang picture as a frisbee, but I kept my cool and just kept moving along. But like I said, nothing's perfect, right? See, that don't look too bad, right? Now I'm taking my white chalk marker and I'm going over those stitches because it really makes it look more 3D and realistic, at least to me. And then I'm going to do some outlining with his nose and a little bit in his eyes. It kind of feel like it made it pop more. I didn't want it like too bright on his eyes. So I really wanted more of like a shading effect. So I'd put some on, wipe it off, and then keep doing that until I got the look I was going for. Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. I didn't do the hill in this one. I did houses. I was going to and then changed my mind. So I did little Halloween houses. So these little pieces came from Dollar Tree. You know, you can get like love... One says, like, love. I think the other one set says home. I can't remember. But I'm just using scrapbooking paper, that disappearing purple glue. Putting that on there, I'm going to trim off the excess. I'm sorry, I completely forgot I changed my whole thing on this. So I made, like, you know, Halloween Town, little houses to go with it. I forgot. And then I'm just taking my fingernail file and getting all that excess paper off. Now these are those metal tags you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm just using that because that's going to be 
my doors. I'm tracing that out, and that's gonna. I love the shape. I thought it was perfect for my little doors. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna make little windows and little doors using my punch. I think that's a one inch punch, but I can't remember right now. I think that's a one. Maybe one and a half, I'm not sure. These are like super easy. Now I'm just gonna put the doors on, add the windows. I didn't wanna go overboard on my DIYs, if that makes sense. I didn't wanna just overdo it. But hopefully I did enough. I think I do use my Distress Ink also, which, um, is it Tim Holtz? Hold on, let me see in a second. Because I wanted it more, like, dirty looking, the houses. But I think I used my Distress Ink. Now I'm just doing, like, little stitching around to kind of make the windows and door pop more. Tiny little stitches all the way around. I think it helped them. See, oh yeah, there we go. See, no, it's Ranger. I'm sorry. And then we're just going to go around the houses with that. Kind of dirty them up a little bit. I didn't want them too clean looking. And I just picked out, we got little casket paper, stripes, and then the other one is like spider web and spiders. Something easy and simple. And then we're just going to, I love this stuff. Aliens Tacky Glue is awesome. I feel like it's just as good as wood glue, but that's my opinion. And I'm using that, and then I'm going to add them right on there. And when Jack's head is hovering over the houses, I just think it came out awesome. Yeah, I was trying to line those up and scoot them over. And then obviously you see my glue kind of seep. But that's okay. We just wipe it away. No big deal. There we go. If y'all hear any noise, I'm sorry. It might be my kiddos. They're down there being pretty loud today. What did I do here? Hold on. Oh, now we're going to add the stars. We wanted, I wanted a starry night, so I went dot crazy, okay? I probably put a thousand dots on this, but it came out so pretty. At least I think so. With the moon and the stars and the houses, I just, I really love this. Look at that with little candles. See, not too bad, right, y'all? I feel like Jack's nose looked really good right there. Now we're, <laughs> y'all, this was a pain in the toot. That is a coloring page. That's some uh, burlap, right? I'm cutting out Oogie Boogie. He's going to be my template. And we're going to lay down two pieces of that burlap, and we're going to put him on top. Well, first, I'm going to actually put him on some, uh, it's not chipboard. It's like cardboard. Because I wanted it thicker. More, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Because the paper was so thin. I just really wanted some excess, or excess. Just, Lord help. I wanted it to be more sturdy. There we go. Jeez Louise. There, sturdy. Got him on there with my purple disappearing glue. And then I realized, oh my God, his little toe is hanging off. <laughs> so I'm trying to get him off there so I can reposition him. Then I noticed he was ripping. So I'm like, nope, 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 get back down. And yes, I am wearing a Grinch. That is the Grinch I'm wearing right now. Now I'm just going to cut him out. Yeah, that's actually a Grinch onesie, y'all. I love it. It's so cozy, especially in Indiana in the winter. Oh, yeah. I'm taking a tiny piece of that cardboard, and then I'm going to put it on behind his toe. 
Because it was driving me bonkers. Now that's finally done. Okay, two pieces of that burlap. We're going to lay Oogie Boogie on top. Pin him down, y'all. I do not sew. I'd rather throw my sewing machine out the window because my husband's been trying to teach me. I cannot get it. It drives me bonkers. So I'd like to do no sew projects. But you can do sewing if you like. I'm just tracing him out. And then we're going to cut that out. And then we'll have the oogie boogie shape. Like I said, you can sew all you want. I, I just can't do it. I just, I don't know. Me and sewing don't mix. But my husband, he, he's, he actually knows how to quilt. So there we go. It's all cut out. We're getting the pens out. This stuff is not, I hate this stuff. I, maybe I did something wrong. It's this fabric glue. I did not like it. I can't remember where I got it from. Maybe it was Dollar General. I don't know. So I ended up switching to glue, my glue sticks. Because I'm like, no, this ain't, this is just aggravating. I mean, I even let it sit and sit. And it just was not keeping the fabric together. So a royal pain in the toot, y'all. A royal pain in the toot. Now we're going to stuff his butt with some cotton. And here you see, like, I thought it was, oh, it's finally drying. Good. Nope. Holes popping up everywhere. I'm sorry I'm out of the view. I'm just stuffing his butt with some cotton. <laughs> I got that cotton for, like, uh, 10 cents a bag after Christmas at Dollar General. So I load it up. I want to go ahead and say thank you for everybody who's sticking around and watching this entire video. Thank you for the support. See? Boom. Irish. We're using Irish green, y'all. We're using green. Okay? Green. We're going to paint him. The entire oogie boogie. He's been... All I did was glue the seams. That's it. And there we go. We're just going to paint him green. But yeah, thank you so much. Um... I hope you guys will subscribe and stick around and give me a chance. You know, be with me as I grow. Now, I, what I'm doing, I'm just looking at that picture of Boogie Boogie. And I'm just going to draw out his little face. That's it. Just going to draw out what I see there as best I can. I'll say that. It's not going to be perfect. Just using my pen. Making his little eyebrows, his little eyes right now. Then we're going to work on his mouth. Then we'll add some stitching, just like you see on the little picture. If I stop for a second, I think I was helping my boys at this time. I got three boys. They are autistic, and this is why it's kind of a struggle sometimes. I'm trying to make sure I get things done, and because, you know, I, I deal with a lot. So, like I said, just bear with me, please. This is my passion, so I, I absolutely love doing this. I love crafting. I love teaching people. I mean, I, I just love it. So, hopefully y'all will subscribe and stick around. There we go. We're doing these little stitches, y'all. I think he came out pretty cute. Now we're just going to take my Sharpie and I just go over all that stuff again. Just to make it darker. Make it stand out more. Make it pop. I'm going to color in his eyes and his mouth. I feel like this was actually... I feel like all of them were actually pretty easy. And I hope... You know, somebody might give them a try, you know. Go through your coloring book. See what you can come up with. Even if it's not Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, there's so many things in there that you can make a template from. Make little pillows for kids in the hospital or, or your kiddos. I've done that before, you know. Now, this is called Glossy Accents. I got this from MindlessCrafting.com. Um, Bill and Tracy are amazing. But it, it's most people use it for paper. But I use it on other things. When it dries, it really gives like a 3D dimensional look. It's really cool. I love this stuff. 
but it's called glossy accents so like I said it works good on paper and it works good on things that are not paper as you can see here really good stuff we're almost done with Oogie Boogie so now that that glossy accent is dry I'm gonna go over that with my Sharpie one more time then it really looks 3D I wish you could actually see it in person yeah because sometimes in videos you don't really see every detail the best and I kind of stink sometimes we're about to be done I really appreciate y'all being here thank you to Jackie thank you to Ellie thank you to Annie like I'm so honored to be here today doing this collaboration I hope I did okay I hope you guys will be back thank you so much have a good day